Hello friends, welcome back to Drew Tutorial and in this video I'm going to show you how to customize any desktop icons you have on your Windows PC to whatever you want. How amazing is that? And this is very easy and very simple. Now guys, as you can see I'm on my desktop here and I have two icons. One is my folder that says my games and the other one is Google Chrome. So how do we go about changing these icons? I'm gonna show you what you need to get this done. And as I said, you can change this to whatever you want. So as you can see here on my screen, the website that I normally use and what I would recommend is this website that says Icon Icons. And you need to use icons, and icons are what you need to download in order to change your desktop icon. Right, but you can do this for whatever you want. Let's say you have a picture and you want to use that picture as your icon, you can do so as well. Or if you want to custom create something of your choice, you can create a custom image, but it's important to know that you need to convert it into icon. So you need something which is transparent background, so it's better to have a PNG file and you need to convert that to icons. So here are a few websites that I wanna share with you. If you have a picture and it's not transparent, you can simply go ahead and go to, for example, remove.bg. You can upload your image here and it will remove it for you and give you a transparent background. It will give you a PNG image with a transparent background. Now, after you get that picture with a transparent background, you need to ensure that you convert that into an icon file. So you can use this website here, which is Cloud Convert, or you can simply go to Google and simply type in PNG to ICO Converter and you'll find multiple different websites where you can easily convert your PNGs into icons, right? So what you wanna do though, once you have your image, you want to ensure that the width and the height is 512. So for example, this website here, you want to go ahead and change it to 512 and you want to change it as well to 512. So go upload your image and then ensure that you set the width and the height for the output of that icon to 512, right? So once you download that, you'll have a nice size that works for Windows icons. But as I said, my favorite website is iconicons.com and you can easily go ahead and search for whatever you want. Now on my desktop, as I showed you, I have a folder that says games and I have a Google Chrome that I'm gonna show you in this example. So let's go ahead and type, for example, games, right? And you can see, oh, nice folders here and nice icons here that shows games. And as you can see, you can choose whatever you want. So let's say I would like to use a folder and let's say this is the folder that I wanna choose with games. So I can simply click on this folder here Ensure that I select icons, not PNG. Ensure that 512 is selected. Simply click on download and it will take a second or so to download the icon for me. As you can see, it's downloaded. If this does not start automatically for you, simply click, click here and it will download it for you. Now, the next one was my Google Chrome. So I can simply type in Chrome and look for something nice within Chrome. And as you can see, they have quite a lot of interesting icons, right? Now let's go ahead and find something that is very nice that pops and have a look at this one. This one is very beautiful. So go ahead and select icon and you want to choose the one that you find, which is the largest one from the list, right? So for Google Chrome, this one works and you want to select the recommended one and download it. And as I said, within a few seconds, you should get this icon. So now that I have my icons, guys, I want to stress this. For the icons that you will download, you don't want to keep them in your downloads folder. As you can see, I have this one in the download folder here, but you don't want to keep those icons in download folder because at any point in time, you can make a mistake and delete or clear your downloads folder. So you want to keep them safe. So let's say in my case, I want to go ahead and create a new folder and I want to save it somewhere. So I can call this icons. And I can move my two nice icons or my whatever icons I have and put them into that folder here, right? So, and this folder, I can move it wherever I want. So I'm going to put it, for example, in my desktop or your case, you can put it in your documents. You can store it in whichever that drive you have, wherever you want to keep this folder safe, go ahead and keep it safe there, right? And it's also important to know if you want to download a backup, you can easily download backup icons there. So you can look for default icons there on the website and you can find. So for example, if you change the Google Chrome, you can always go back to Chrome and you can download 
the default Chrome icons if you so desire, if that's what you want, right? So once you have those icons ready, it's very easy to go ahead and make the change. So what you want to do, right click on the icon that you want to change. And on Windows 10, it will look something like this and you'll have the properties here. But on the Windows 11, you will have the properties here. Click on that. Now you want to ensure that you click on the customize. For folders, you want to click on the customize section and then click change icon. So from here, you can click on browse and you want to find where you have those icons stored. So for me, it's on the desktop under the icons folder. And for the folder here, I'm going to choose this gaming folder. Then click on open there. Then click on OK. Then click on apply. Then click on OK. Have a look at that. Nice folder, right? It's no looking like a really nice folder with the games, right? What do you do for the Chrome? It's slightly different, right? Click again and you want to click on the properties just the same. But here you have the change icon. So click on that, then click on browse. As you can see here, before you click on browse, you can see that you have some icons here. But these are really some ugly icons. You don't want to use those. So click on browse, select your new nice icon that you have. Click on open there, click on OK, click on apply, click on OK, and have a look at that. Google Chrome looking nice and beautiful. And that's all there is to it, guys. Now you can do this for whichever icons you want to, to put on your computer desktop or wherever you want to put those icons. You can make them and you can put them on your taskbar or wherever you want. But if you're looking for a way how to customize any icons on your Windows PC, this is the way how to do it. Here you have it, guys. I really hope you found value within this video. And if you do, don't forget to take a moment to give this video a like and hit that subscribe button so that you'll never miss out when I release future videos just like this one. Thank you guys for watching and see you next time.